Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a method of disabling telemetry in Windows 11 to stop it quote unquote spying on you. Of course, Windows 11 doesn't really spy on you. That would imply that Microsoft is collecting data about your system without your knowledge, which is categorically not true. In fact, Microsoft is very open about what data is collected and also what they do with it, as evident by their privacy statements on their website. But either way, telemetry is a controversial topic and I personally don't have a problem with it to a certain extent. For example, if this data is, that is collected is used to improve an application or an operating system, or if it's used to find out areas where more development is required, then I have no issue with telemetry collecting data about my system. Personally, I think this use of telemetry should be included in Linux. This way it allows developers to focus on areas where Linux in general or a distribution is lacking. Plus it will also give you some tangible numbers for when it comes to the overall Linux installation base. But where I don't like telemetry is when it comes to feeding targeted adverts towards me. This is something that's been common practice since Windows 10 and now again is present in Windows 11. Now it is possible to disable telemetry in Windows 11, but it does involve you editing the registry, navigating the priority section of the settings application, or if you've got Windows 11 Pro, or enterprise using group policy. And of course, all these methods are likely gonna be out of reach for most computer users. So instead, I'm gonna recommend a different approach. Oh No Shut Up 10 Plus Plus is a full GUI application that allows you to enable or disable all telemetry toggles within Windows 11. So the application can be downloaded from the Oh no website and it doesn't require any installation. So once you download it, you launch the application by double clicking on the exe file. So the interface itself is straightforward. You've got all the telemetry switches on the left hand side and you have a toggle to enable or disable. Now, technically you can go through this entire list and enable and disable what you want one by one, but the application does include a free profiles to enable things in bulk. And you can find these under the actions tab at the top. You have apply only recommended settings, recommended and somewhat recommended settings or apply all settings. You also have the option to undo any uh, changes or factory settings. And finally have the option here to create a system restoration point. I'd probably say in about 99% of cases, you'll be using the apply only recommended settings. But yeah, if you want to disable some more telemetry from Windows 11, you can click on the recommended, somewhat recommended settings. I have experience with applying all the settings, but what I found is it does tend to break things especially when it comes to Windows updates. And this is something you should never disable. Either way, you want to choose the option you want to apply. In my case, I'm gonna choose apply all recommended settings. Create the system restore point. And to apply this, I need to close down the application. Click OK, and then restart Windows. So once you've logged back in, the process is all done. So Windows 11, like the 10 before it, does tend to double down on the telemetry. For most people, it's not really a problem, but for the privacy conscious user, tools such as Shut Up 10 Plus Plus are essential. Either way, with that, it brings this video to an end. Thank you very much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, you know what to do. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you again next time. Bye now.